Hi there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training company, passmyinterview.com. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to pass a data scientist interview. So it does not matter which organization you have your interview for. If you want to become a data scientist, make sure you stay tuned because I will help you to succeed. And to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover. I'm going to give you a list of data scientist interview questions that I strongly advise you prepare for. I'm going to give you brilliant, unique answers to tough data scientist interview questions, and you can't find these answers anywhere else. I will give you some really important tips on how you can beat the competition and stand out during your data scientist interview. And I will also tell you about further resources you can get access to, including these slides and the answers to help you succeed. So there's four reasons why you should stay tuned. Just quickly, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Lots of you are passing your interviews as a result. I am uploading insider job training videos every day and I don't want you to miss out. Let's get straight into it. The first question is, tell me about yourself. Now, this is going to be the first question asked during your data scientist interview. And in your response, my advice is to focus on the following things. Tell them about the, the skills, the qualities and the experience you have that will help you in the role. Talk about the fact that you take your professional development seriously as a data scientist, because as you know, the industry is changing all the time. And also talk about how you are going to add value in the role as a data scientist. So here's a great answer to help you. Tell me about yourself. I've been a data scientist for a number of years now, and I have worked in a variety of different organizations where my skill set and my experience have been tested to the full. I have solid programming skills, outstanding data wrangling and visualization capabilities and excellent communication qualities that allow me to accurately communicate my findings and suggest solutions to often complex problems. Now, outside of work, I spend time with my family and I also spend a decent amount of time dedicated to my own continuous improvement and development. This is essential for ensuring I stay at the top of my game as a data scientist, especially when things are constantly changing and evolving. Now, after researching your organisation in detail, this is a place I feel confident I can add value to your already established team in the role of a data scientist. And I'm looking forward to the challenge that hopefully lies ahead. That's a great answer. It is punchy. It is positive and it sets you up with confidence for the rest of your interview. Now you can either pause the video if you want to and take a note of the questions and answers as we work through them together. Or if you wait, I will soon tell you where you can download my full set of 25 data scientist interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones covered in these slides. The next question I want you to prepare for is, why do you want to work here? Why do you want to work for us as a data scientist? Now, remember, the hiring manager has literally heard hundreds of answers to this question. And more often than not, the answers given are the same. Now, in your own unique response, talk about how you have researched their company and you feel this is a place that understands the value of data science and how it can help an organization grow both commercially and financially. Here is my example answer to the question, why do you want to work here? The role of a data scientist is one that requires total support from your employer. It's a challenging role that, in my opinion, is best placed in an organisation that both sees the value of data science and that understands how it can positively impact on not only the commercial and financial goals of the organisation, but to also improve end user experience. Now, I carried out lots of research into your organisation before submitting my resume. And I also spoke to a few people who have worked here before. Nothing put me off from applying and I see this as a place I will be able to fully utilise the skills and experience I have whilst helping my team and the organisation advance further and increase market share as the years progress. That is a very good answer. It is unique in nature. It shows you've researched the company and you have fully considered what it is like to work 
for their organisation as a data scientist. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to give you and you don't want to miss them. But when you're ready, if you want to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, it takes you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can download my full set of 25 data scientist interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones covered in this tutorial. Here is the next question. Explain to me in simple terms how data science works. Now, every organization will use data science in a different way. In your answer, talk about how data science can impact positively on their organization and also be sure to use jargon free communication because this question is also assessing your ability to communicate clearly and concisely. Here's my example answer. Explain to me in simple terms how data science works. In very simple terms, data science is the process of analyzing data to achieve actionable insights. Within an organization such as yours, data science can be used for a variety of different reasons, but its primary goal, in my opinion, should be to find solutions to data analytics problems that present the greatest opportunities for commercial development and growth. Now, my job would be to determine correct data sets and variables and collect large sets of both structured and unstructured data from varying sources and then use it to find useful insights that create opportunities and also solve difficult problems. Now, of course, in your experience, you might have a slightly different answer to that, but that is how I recommend you respond to the question. Explain to me in simple terms how data science works. And anybody listening to that will be able to understand it regardless of their technical ability. The next question, lots of users are filling in an online form, but then not submitting it. What could the problem be and how would you use data to establish the exact cause? Now, this common data science interview question is assessing basically your problem solving capabilities and how you approach issues that require detailed analysis of data. Here's a great example answer to help you. Lots of users are filling in an online form, but they're not submitting it. What could the problem be and how would you use data to establish the exact cause? I would start off by running a test myself using the form. I would want to ensure the form was easy to complete because there could be a variety of reasons why it is not being submitted, including usability or technical problems. For example, I would want to ascertain how difficult the form is to complete. Is it too long? Do people have to type in too much text? And do they give up halfway through the process because it's time consuming? I would also assess the design of the form and test it across multiple platforms, devices and browsers. I would need quite a bit of data to analyze the problem, including what the purpose of the form is, whereabouts the users stop during the process, their geographical location, are there any technical issues that mean the user cannot submit the form because buttons are not working, for example. Now, some forms may also have a feedback section where users can provide useful comments regarding usability and functionality, so I would need to read those carefully. I would also want to ascertain the percentage of people not filling in the form. For example, if 40 or 50% were not submitting the form, then there is clearly a big problem. I would basically dive deep and draw up a list of questions and possible outcomes to quickly get to the bottom of the issue. So that question, sorry, that answer shows that you can think on your feet and you can use a logical approach to solving difficult problems using data. The next question that is guaranteed to come up, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Now, this question is guaranteed to come up during your data scientist interview and the strengths part, as I am sure you will agree, is relatively easy to answer because all you do is match your strengths to the job description and the person's specification. But it's the weakness part that is tough. Do not say my weakness is I am a perfectionist because virtually everybody else will be saying that. It is important that you give a genuine, honest weakness. OK, it's really important. Here's how to answer this interview question correctly. What are your strengths and weaknesses? My strengths include my fast pace of working, my deep dive analytical skills and the fact I can quickly interpret data and trends to establish the root of a problem, find a solution and also create opportunities. Other strengths are the fact I am a good team worker. I can explain complex terminology in simple terms to people who might otherwise not understand. And I am commercially driven which means I fully understand the work I do is linked to your financial and commercial objectives. 
My weakness is I can be quite stubborn at times when it comes to problem solving and I enjoy figuring things out on my own as opposed to asking others for assistance. However, another one of my strengths is that I am passionate about self-development. So if you see something you think I need to work on, tell me and I will go away and sort it out. That is quite a clever answer because you are front loading it with really good strengths that will be appealing to any hiring manager that wants to take on a data scientist. You are then just giving one weakness, which says that, you know, you want to sort things out for yourself instead of asking people for assistance. But you are then finishing off and saying, look, I am prepared to develop and I will take on constructive feedback and I will go away and sort things out. So it's a very good answer and it's a great way to structure it. Now, the next thing to do is please make sure you click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. Go through to my website, passmyinterview.com. Take a look at my 25 data scientist interview questions. Those are the ones that I recommend you prepare for. You also have the opportunity to download all of the answers in PDF format, including the ones I've covered in this presentation. And you can literally have them within your inbox within two minutes from now. Don't forget to subscribe. It's really important. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video, and it's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Please also give the video a like. I hope you've enjoyed it. A lot of time and effort goes into creating these videos, and um, I would appreciate your support. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all the best for passing your data scientist interview. Have a brilliant day.